Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome back to Cake Farts. <laughs> 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 I'm reading it on Urban Dictionary right now. Oh, yeah? Cake farts. The act of getting naked and farting on a cake. <laughs> in order to be a true cake fart, the asshole must come in contact with the frosting. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, man. People put thought into this. <laughs> the asshole must come must. in contact with Don't the frosting. Don't bring that weak ass cake fart shit into my house. <laughs> I gotta get the fruits. I, gotta I get the swear fruits. to God. Gotta get you, should eat the fruits. If frosting did not touch asshole, I want no part of this. I want no part of this farce! Shit, I need- I need the fruit! I need the fruit! Yoshi, eat the fruit! Fucking Yoshi, eat the fucking fruit! Oh my god! Got it. Holy shit. That was almost a cake farce. <laughs> 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 to be a real cake fart. Yeah. The frosting must come in touch with the asshole. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I like the most. Cake. <laughs> There. Like if some girl put so much effort into like sitting down on a cake and yep. farting and and then was like that it's a cake fart you'd be like mm 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 asshole didn't touch. Yeah. I wonder what the cake farts girl is doing these days. I was uh -huh. told I was told she was found on Craigslist. Yeah. Maybe we should try to find her yeah. on Craigslist. What, what do you mean maybe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm typing it up right now. You know what I've always wanted to do on, on Craigslist? Mm-hmm. Just like Do do one of those like super like come over and jack off with me kind of posts. Yeah, sure. And then once they come over just just be having like a satanic ritual. Oh Like really convincing satanic ritual as they walk in. I would go in the other direction I like I would be like hey you want to come over and jerk off of me and they'd be like hell yeah And then fucking they come over and it's just they get there and it's like five guys quietly playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, join us, won't you? Did you, did you bring your deck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it's like bring your bring your dick. Like we really yeah, a yeah. fully loaded dick. And yeah, then yeah. like oh we meant deck. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Jesus. I, we just want to play with our decks. That was a typo. A couple of guys playing with our decks. <laughs> we whip my deck out. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I, lo I love it when my five bros whip out our decks, <laughs> and we play with them. Little MTG. Standard, baby. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. Uh, so have you recovered from your fucking spin around situation from before? Sorry, what? Oh, before we started this episode, Aaron closed his eyes and spun around on his chair a couple of times, on his wheelie oh chair. Oh my god, I forgot and, about that. Yeah, and when he opened his eyes, I guess you were at a different part of the room than you expected and yeah. it freaked you out. Yeah, yeah, because I was just spinning for fun and then I closed my eyes, which is the worst thing you should do when you're spinning. Because then you have this idea of like how much distance you're covering in the revolution. Yeah. Or the... or whatever. Right. And then... I opened my eyes and I thought I was in one part of the room, but I was I was not. I was facing like the complete opposite part of the room, and that immediate realization made me want to vomit like <laughs> instantly. Yeah. I was just like, oh, 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 no. oh, and I had to like lean over my desk for a second and like catch my my vomit back in my stomach. <laughs> Dude, did you? I can't remember. Do you listen to Radio Lab? Nope. Do you know what it is? Nope. Radio Lab is a very cool science podcast, and they talk about all kinds of crazy shit. Oh, that's awesome! It's from NPR, yeah. And one of the things, uh, I think, I think the episode was called "Lost and Found." If anyone wants to look it up, it's super interesting. But they talk about how, um, the, you know, how some people have like face blindness, like oh, yeah. oh come on! Good luck, Yoshi. Fuck! In your oh, I had, I needed to jump on the other boat anyway. Okay. Back we go. Go ahead with uh, the face blindness. Yeah. Oh, let's tell you a super interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> no, I the um you know some people have face blindness where like no matter how many times they meet someone they just can't recognize them. Yeah. Like so this this woman uh has what they name uh location blindness where like she first realized she had it when she was like 5 years old or whatever and she like she was playing in her backyard or she was playing in a friend's backyard or something. And she closed her eyes for a second, and when she opened her eyes, she was completely fucking lost. And she had no idea where she was. And she just, like, freaked out and just started running. And then, like, she ran into this random yard and, uh, found her mom there. 
And she was like, Mom, what are you doing in this random yard? And her mom was like, this is our yard. So like, she just had this weird like episode where she totally lost track of where she was. And what they determined it was, was occasionally when she would blink or close her eyes for a second, when she'd open her eyes, everything had turned a quarter to the left mentally. So like, let's say you're sitting where you are in a room right now with your four walls uh -huh. and you close your eyes. Suddenly the wall that was in front of you when you closed your eyes is now to the left. And the wall that was to the left is behind you. And the wall that's to b behind you is to your right. What the fuck? How fucking crazy is that shit? Um, and they still haven't quite solved like what causes it yeah, or how to that, cure it. How does that work? Like, because that's not even what is. Yeah. In the world. Well, I mean, not to like. I feel kind of douchey just like reciting this entire podcast on um, on Game Grumps, but it's it really is super interesting. Like, the, she meets up with this doctor, and he he describes like he basically decides that. It's not a question of why does this happen to her, but why doesn't this happen to the rest of us? Oh. So, like, there's there's three parts of the human brain um, that help us uh, map out a place when we go to it for the first time. So, like, there's the part, of, like, every time you go to a new environment you've never been in before, um, your, uh, your body breaks it, your mind breaks it down into, like, like all these, all these, like, triangles, basically. Um, and there's one part of your brain that, like, pays attention to those triangles and, like, the distance of where everything is. Um, then there's a second part of your brain that, uh, pays attention to the surfaces. And it's like, how close am I to each surface, you know, like, as you get closer. And then the third part of your brain is dropping these little pins in the ground, like, like, telling yourself, okay, I've been there, and now I'm going here, which I haven't been to yet. Um, and if all three parts of the, your brain... Um, aren't working in tandem together, you can just fucking get lost at any second. Whoa. Um, yeah, so he determines, based on his knowledge, that this particular woman has an issue with one of those parts of her brain, and they find out what it is, and they still haven't cured it, but she's found, like, seven, uh, I think 700 other people who have the same thing. What the fuck, man? Yeah, so she's not, like, lonely anymore, and she doesn't, like, feel so, like, like, lost. It's really, really fucking cool. Um, That's amazing. Yeah, good sh good show, dude. Radio Lab is a very cool show, and it's like I listen to so much stupid shit during the course of my day, just so much dumb, like useless info, that to actually like learn something every time I turn on a show is uh, is very helpful. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I always like those informative podcasts. Yeah. It's just like, we found a new study where if you drink, like, three drops of water in the order of orange juice, syrup, and chemicals... That sounds terrible. ...you can breathe fire without hurting, and oh, it's like, awesome. well, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you, ha you had me at breathe fire. Yeah. We don't know why this happens, but, I mean, it just does. Yeah. It's just very good, uh, it's a very good podcast for, like, regurgitating information at a cocktail party. And being like, oh, now people think I'm intelligent. You mean like this? <laughs> <laughs> Information! <laughs> Information for some reason is pink! <laughs> Where are you going to? Uh, so there's this tiny island over there. And oh. uh, there's, a, there's a, uh, a plumbing tube that's covered in this goop that only Yoshi can clear up. Uh. But Yoshi can't go through the water. So you have to climb this like uh, elaborate, elaborate system of boats geez. to get to that tiny little island. Oof. Yeah. How did you find all this out? You just uh, this—it's from like my old playthrough. Oh, uh, okay. Ten years ago. It, I guess when you're playing this game, you're just like, this is a nice summary game. I'll just ride this boat for a little while. Um. See where it takes me. It was just a matter of like. So there's all this other goop that's covered up that Yoshi can clean up. Right. And uh, so you just instinctively go to this island out of curiosity uh, okay. as Mario, and then there's a tube covered up with the goop, and you're like, oh, Yoshi has to be here, but Yoshi can't go through the water, so uh, then you're like, look at those boats! They kind of look like they have a system. What's that yellow thing? Uh, it looks like a bird. Oh. Well, oh, goodbye. It's dead. Oh, oh no, no okay. okay, thank god. <laughs> it was like, alright, I'm out of here, right, shit! Fuck water, I hate, why, why was I on the water? I'm a bird. <laughs> It's not like I needed to drink and stay hydrated or anything. <laughs> oh, this poor little abandoned guy. I'm not gonna yeah. talk to him and just go into the pipe. <laughs> Cause fuck him. Yeah, agreed. 
Yay, I did it. Uh, maybe Take he that. wants to be left alone. All right, fine. Maybe he's like, fuck! <laughs> Visitors. People suck. Or maybe he's like, oh, sweet, a friend! Mm. Oh, well. <laughs> See you later. A friend, why did you... Uh... Uh, uh, ooh, that's pretty. Oh, pretty hard. Yeah, nicely done. And we'll experience the excruciating pain next time on Game Grumps. No!